topic we have is topic multiplication by zero and uh, addition of zero and uh, subtraction of zero. What does it mean? Multiplication, which is times by zero, comma, addition of zero and the uh, subtraction of zero. So what we have, children, is let's say one. Zero is a number used to indicate the absence of quantity. Zero is a number used to indicate the absence of a quantity. Absence of what? Quantities. That is, zero means empty, emptiness or nothing. So, zero means what? Nothing. When there is no food in the house, we can say there is zero in the house. When there is no food in the kitchen, we can say there is zero in the kitchen. Means empty. Nothing is in the kitchen. So, zero represents what? Nothing. Emptiness. We say zero represents what? Emptiness or nothing. Then we will come to say multiplication by zero multiplication by zero look at it zero times one is zero zero times two is zero zero times three is zero zero times four is zero zero times five is zero zero times six is zero zero times seven is zero zero times eight is zero zero times nine is zero 0 times 10 is 0. 0 times 11 is 0. When I come back here to say again, 0 times y is 0. 0 times m is 0. 0 times u, 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 learning this, u, u that is learning this. If 0 times u, answer is 0. 0 times my auntie, if 0 times your auntie, the answer is 0. When zero, jam your auntie. You know that thanks mean what? Jamming. Are you getting what I'm saying? When we say thanks, you mean jamming. So when we say thanks, you mean what? Jamming. When zero, jam your auntie, the answer is zero. When zero, jam you, the answer is zero. That means zero times you means zero, jam you. Zero times you means answer is what? Zero. Zero times M, answer is M. Zero times Y, answer is uh, zero. I'm going to look at it again. Zero times y, the answer is zero. This means zero jam y, the answer is zero. Zero jam m, the answer is zero. Zero jam u, the answer is zero. Zero jam my auntie, the answer is zero. That's zero times my auntie, the answer is zero. Zero times my school, the answer is zero. That means zero jam my school. The answer is zero. Zero multiply my bag. Zero times my bag. The answer is zero. That means zero jam my bag. The answer is zero. So zero times x plus y. The answer is zero. Zero times anything. The answer is zero. So where are we arriving? We arrive at zero times anything. The answer is zero. Zero jam anything. The answer is what? Zero. So, we come to what? Addition of zero. Addition of zero. That's where we are now. Zero plus one. The answer is zero. Zero plus one. The answer is zero. What does it mean? Addition. What do we call addition? Addition is making a friend. When somebody make a friend with you, say, you are my friend. What the person is telling you that you are adding myself to you. So when you say somebody is my friend, means that person plus me. You are my friend means you and me. That's you plus me. So then when you said multiplication times, mean what? Jamming the person. Why addition mean you, you are my friend. So when zero plus zero plus one, the answer is one means zero. Making a friend with one, the answer is one. 
You know that, you remember that we say the zero is emptiness, nothing. Zero means what? Nothing is there. That means when you take a nothing and make a friend to nothing, the answer is you. So when I say zero plus one, the answer is one. Zero plus two, the answer is two. Zero plus three, the answer is three. Zero plus four, the answer is four. Zero plus five, the answer is, five, uh, is what? Is five. Zero plus five, the answer is five. Look at it, the answer is five. Zero plus six, the answer is six. Zero plus seven, the answer is seven. Zero plus eight, the answer is eight. Zero plus nine, the answer is nine. Zero plus ten, the answer is ten. Zero plus eleven, the answer is what? Eleven. What do we say? Zero plus five, the answer is five. Zero plus six, the answer is six. Zero plus seven, the answer is seven. Zero plus eight, the answer is eight. Zero plus nine, the answer is nine. Zero plus ten, the answer is ten. Zero plus eleven, the answer is what? Eleven. So what we are saying is that whatever zero is being added to plus, the answer is that thing. Anything zero is being what? Add. This plus means what? Add. Making a friend. Any person zero make a friend with. The answer is that person. So zero means what? Plus means making a friend. What did I say about plus? If I write this plus, it means what? Making a friend. If I said you are my friend, it means that you plus me. I don't think that. So when we say zero plus one, it means zero. Making a friend with one. The answer is one. Zero. Making a friend with two. The answer is two. Zero, making a friend with three, the answer is what three? Zero, making a friend with four, the answer is four. Zero, making a friend with five, the answer is five. The zero, making a friend with six, the answer is six. Zero, making a friend with seven, the answer is seven. Zero, making a friend with eight, the answer is eight. Zero, making a friend with nine, the answer is nine. Zero, making a friend with ten, the answer is ten. Zero, making a, a friend with eleven, the answer is eleven. In conclusion, Anything zero make a friend with, the answer is that thing. When I come to this, when I say zero plus y, the answer is y. Have you said it? Zero plus m, the answer is m. Zero plus u, zero plus u, the answer is u. Zero plus my auntie, the answer is my auntie. Are you going to say that? Zero plus my auntie, the answer is what? Auntie, my auntie. Zero plus my bag, the answer is my bag. Zero plus my school, the answer is my school. Zero plus anything, zero plus anything, the answer is that thing. When I say zero plus anything, the answer is that thing. You have noted it today. Now, we now come to what? Subtraction of zero. Look at it. Subtraction of zero. Subtraction of zero. What mean by subtraction? Removing. You remove something. Subtraction mean what? Remove something. Then subtraction mean telling somebody, you are not my friend. Get away. I don't like you again. I don't love you again. You should get away. That's what subtraction. You are taking that to your friend away. You are telling your friend, go away. But when you say, this person is my friend. Hey, this is my friend. Oh, what have you done? You have said, this person plus me. That's what you say. Plus. This person plus me. Me. This person is my friend. Then you, oh, you are not my friend. Get away. Don't talk to me. That means you are telling the person, away. Minus. 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 Subtract. Minus. That's what me was. You are not my friend. Get away. So now, come in here. One, telling zero. You are not my friend. One minus zero. The answer is one. One minus zero. The answer is one. That means one Telling zero, you are not my friend. The answer is what? One. Two minus zero, the answer is two. Three minus zero, the answer is three. Four minus zero, the answer is four. Five minus zero, the answer is five. Y minus zero, the answer is Y. M minus zero, the answer is M. U minus zero, the answer is U. U minus zero, the answer is U. Anything minus zero, the answer is that thing. So anything minus zero, the answer is that thing. I think you have noted it today. 
I told you that addition plus mean making a friend. This is my friend. When you say in the school, you say this is my friend. That means you and that person. You are plusing yourself to the person. Then when you say, hey, this is not my friend, what we have done, you get away. Subtraction. That's what we have done. It's removing the person from you. Get away means what? Subtraction. You, my friend, means what? Addition plus. Then multiplication means what? Jamming. Mm. We jam ourselves. Ooh, that's multiplication. We said zero jam one. The answer is what? Zero. Zero, ta zero times two means zero jam two. The answer is zero. Zero jam three. The answer is zero. Zero jam four. The answer is zero. Zero times five. The answer is what? Zero. So anything zero what? Multiply times. The answer is what? Zero. I do not notice it today. Anything multiplied by zero. The answer is zero. Anything added to zero, the answer is that thing. Anything that will add to zero, the answer is that thing. Anything, if we subtract zero from anything, the answer is that thing. If we subtract zero, telling, if I say zero, go away, the answer is me. If you say zero, go away, the answer is you. So this is where we are running it. Let's Good day, students. Good day, pupils. Topic. Multiplication by one. Multiplication by one. Comma. Addition of one. Addition, which is called plus. Addition means plus of one. And the subtraction of one. What do you mean by subtraction? Remove of one. I will say multiplication by one. That means thanks by one. Now let's go to the table. Lexin 2. We're going to look at here. We say multiplication by one. One times one is one. One times two is two. One times three is three. One times four. The answer is four. One times five. The answer is five. One times six. The answer is six. 1 times 7, the answer is 7. 1 times 8, the answer is 8. 1 times 9, the answer is 9. 1 times 10, the answer is 10. 1 times 11, the answer is 11. Let me start again. 1 times 1, the answer is 1. 1 times 2, the answer is 2. 1 times 3, the answer is 3. 1 times 4, the answer is 4. 1 times 5, the answer is 5. 1 times 6, the answer is 6. 1 times 7, the answer is 7. 1 times 8, the answer is 8. 1 times 9, the answer is 9. 1 times 10, the answer is 10. 1 times 11, the answer is 11. Coming over here, we say, one times y, one times y, the answer is y. One times m, the answer is m. One times u, the answer is u. One times u, the answer is u. One times u, the answer is u. One times my bag, the answer is my bag. One times my bag. The answer is my bag. One times my bag. The answer is my bag. One times my school. The answer is my school. One times my school. The answer is my school. One times anything. The answer is that thing. So what are we saying? One times anything. The answer is that what thing. So anything you times by one. The answer is that thing. Anything you times by one, answer is what? That thing. That's why we say one times one, the answer is one. One times two, the answer is two. One times three, the answer is three. One times four, the answer is four. One times five, the answer is five. One times six, the answer is six. One times seven, the answer is seven. One times eight, the answer is eight. 1 times 9, the answer is 9. 1 times 10, the answer is 10. 
1 times 11, the answer is 11. So anything times by 1 is that 10. So we come to addition of 1. Addition of 1. Addition of 1. Then what does it mean? It means that what? 1. 1 box plus 1 box will give me how many boxes? 1, 2, 2 boxes. 2 boxes. There was 1 triangle plus 1 triangle will give me what? 2 triangle. Look at it. 1 triangle here, 1 triangle here. Combine together will give me 2 triangle. And that one to see 2. This is 1 triangle, 1 triangle. 1 triangle plus 1 triangle will give me 2 triangle. Then 1 triangle plus 2 triangle. Look at 2 triangle. Will it give me three triangles? But well, watch it. One, two, three. One triangle plus one, tri two triangle. One triangle plus two triangle will give me three triangle. That means the answer is three triangle. One triangle plus three triangle. One, two, three. The answer is four triangle. But well, watch it. One, two, three, four. How did I get it? One triangle plus one triangle plus another triangle. Another triangle, another triangle. Give me how many number? This is three triangle plus what? One triangle. I count it. One, two, three. So we said one triangle plus what? Two triangle will give me three triangle. One triangle plus three triangle. Count how many triangles here? One, two, three. That's me. That's the three triangle, not two. It become three triangle. One triangle. One triangle plus three triangle. Count it. One, two, three. Right, let's see. We we'll count it one, two, three, four. And that's giving me one, two, three, four. That means one triangle plus three triangle will give me what? Four triangle. That means one plus three will give me four. One plus three will give me four. Just like here. One plus two will give me three. One plus one will give me two. Then coming here, one plus four will give me five. How? We said one triangle plus four triangle. We count it one, two, three, four. Then we add them. Add them together. We become one, two, three, four, five. That means that one plus four will give me five. That's five triangle. We count it one, two, three, four, five. So one triangle plus four triangle will give me five triangle. That means one plus four will give me five. One triangle. Plus five triangle. We count it here. One, two, three, four, five. That's five triangle. That's the five. One plus five will give me six. Can we count it? Then we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six triangle. That give me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six triangles. I can see that. That means I'm having six triangle. One triangle plus five triangle will give me six triangle. That means one plus five will give me six. What does it mean? One plus what? Five. The answer is what? Six. Then I come back here. One triangle plus six triangle. Can you count it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then plus one triangle. That means six plus one will give me seven. I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means one triangle plus six triangle will give me seven triangle. Then one triangle plus seven triangle will give me eight triangle. That means 1 plus 7 will give me 8. Can we count it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We count the answer here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means this 1 plus 7 will give me 8. And I come here. 1 triangle plus 8 triangle. Can you count how many triangles here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This 8 triangle plus 1 triangle will give me what? Nine triangle. Can we count it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means one triangle plus eight triangle will give me nine triangle. That's one plus eight will give me nine. What are we saying? One plus what? Eight. The answer is what? Nine. Then we'll come over here. Then one triangle plus ten triangle will give me eleven triangle. Can we see it? One triangle. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That means 1 triangle plus 10 triangle will give me 11. Can we count here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 triangle. And that shows me that what? 1 plus what? 10. 
will give me answer. That will give me what? 11 triangle. That's it. 1 triangle plus what? 10 will give me 11 triangle. Then 1 triangle plus 11 triangle will give me 12 triangle. Can we count this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 1 plus 11 will give me what? 12. Then can we come over here to see it clear? 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. 1 plus 1, right? 1 plus 1, 1, 2. That's 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2, 1, 2. That give me 1, 2, 3. The 1 plus 2 will give me 3. 1 plus 3 will give me 4. 1 plus 4, the answer is 5. 1 plus 5, the answer is 6. 1 plus 6, the answer is 7. 1 plus 7, the answer is 8. 1 plus 8, the answer is 9. 1 plus 9, the answer is 10. 1 plus 10, the answer is 11. 1 plus 11, the answer is 12. You will see that 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. 1 plus 2, the answer is 3. 1 plus 3, the answer is 4. 1 plus 4, the answer is 5. So what we mean here, any number plus 1, the answer is 1 ahead of that number. If I have now 5 plus 1, my answer will be 5, 6. My answer will be 6. Then 3 plus 1, my answer will be what? 3, 4. My answer is what? 4. Are you following it? Then if I now see what? 6 plus 1, 6, 7. My answer is what? 7. 7 plus 1, my answer is what? 7, 8. The answer is what? 8. Then, five m eight plus one. The answer is what eight. Add one to it nine. That means what nine. Then we will now say nine plus one. We say nine. Add one to nine ten. The answer is what ten. If I have now eleven ten plus one, what does it mean? Ten. Add one to ten eleven. My answer is what? 11. So whatever I add to 1, it will increase by 1. Addition of 1 is increasing the number by 1. If the number is 7, you add it to 1, it will be 8. If the number is 3, I add it to 1, it will be what? 4. If the number is 5, if I add it to 1, it will be 6. If the 6 is added by 1, it will give me 7. If the number is 8, I add it to 1, it will be 9. If the 9 is added by 1 is give me 10. If the number is 9, I add 1, it will give me 10. And that one will be what? Addition of 1. Addition of 1 using a box and using a number. We use a box here, we use a number. So you now study it. Can you study it? Make sure you study it. Thank you. Subtraction of 1. What are we doing? We are saying subtraction of 1. Let's see how 1 is subtract from a value. How do we subtract 1 from a particular value or from a particular number? How do we subtract? We say subtraction of 1. We now said if we remove, what do we mean by subtraction? Remove, remove. Subtraction means what? Remove. When you say subtraction, as I said, you are not my friend. Go away. Go away. You are not my friend. That's what we mean by subtraction. When you tell somebody, mm, go away. You are not my friend. I can't be your friend anymore. Go away. Don't talk to me. What you have told the person, what? Subtraction. Subtract yourself from me. Remove yourself from me. Remove yourself from me. That would mean go away. Remove yourself from me. So if we remove one from one, if one is removed from one, what will be there is zero. There will be nothing. And what is zero? Nothing. If we remove one from one, if you not take a one out of one, if you take one out of one, and so I have two pencils, I have two pen. Look at my two marker. Look at this marker, this marker. I take out of this. There will be no be any what mark anymore. So when you remove one from what one, we have zero. A one, I have one biscuit, and somebody come and take the one biscuit I have 
I have no more any more biscuit with me. I have a biscuit with my father gave me, and someone come and pick it. I have no more what biscuit anymore. That's what we mean. One biscuit minus one biscuit. Where you remove one biscuit from one biscuit, it will give me zero biscuit. That means removing one from one will give me zero. Removing one from two, I have two biscuits. You remove one from it, I will have one left in my hand. I have two biscuits. You remove one, I will have one left in my hand. Now look at here. I have one boss, triangular boss. I have one triangle. You, re you remove one triangle from my hand. I have no more triangle. I have two triangle with me. Look at one, two. This is the two triangle. I have it. You remove one triangle from the two triangle I have. I will have one, one triangle left. Look at it. This triangle has been removed. Look at the, the one triangle. The two triangle I have. I remove one from it. And what will remain is only this one. And that gives me my what? Answer to one triangle. So out of my two triangle, if you remove one triangle from the two triangle I'm holding, I will have one triangle left. And that's what we say. Two. Remove one from two will give me one. The answer is one. Then coming to this, I have three, three triangles. Look at the three triangles. I remove one from this three triangle. That's this one. I remove it. This one I have canceled in. I have removed one from this three triangle. I have. I will have two triangles left in my hand. I have three triangles. And someone come and pick one. I will be left with two triangles. And look at it. One, two. Look at the two triangles that remain. After I have taken what one after uh, from it. Look at the one I take away. I take one. Means what? Take away one. I have what? Look at here. Come over here. I have three triangles. Look at the three triangles. They said someone come and remove one from that triangle. How many triangles did I have here? Two. That means what? Three minus one. The answer is what? Two. So the two triangles will be left. That out of the three triangles, I remove one. That worries me. Then I come back here. Number this. I'm having what? Four triangles. Look at how many triangles I have here. Four. One, two, three, four. One was removed from that four triangle I have. I will be left with three triangles. Look at it. This one triangle I've been left from what? Have what? Removed from the four triangle I have. I will be left with one, two, three. Look at one, two, three. That's it. The three triangle will be left. And what does it mean? It means that I have four triangles. One, two, three, four. And someone come and take away one. What will remain in my hand? It will remain what? Three triangles. Which one, two, three. That's the three triangles. That means that four triangles. We remove one from four triangle. I will have three triangle left. And that's it. Then we'll come back here to five. What does it mean? Five minus one will give me four. Four minus one will give me three. Five minus one will give me four. How did I get it? I have five triangle. One, two, three, four, five. I remove one from five triangle. What will be left behind is what? Four triangle. If I have five triangle in my hand, and someone come and remove one in my hand, I have what? One, two, three, four left. So when I said, how many? One, two, three, four, five triangle. One was canceled from it. Remove one. I will have what? One, two, three, four. That four triangle left. That means, come over here. If I have now five triangle, one, two, three, four, five. And someone come and take one out of it. What will remain is this. Count it one, two, three, four. And that means that five triangle, I remove one, and my answer will be what? Four triangle. Look at the four triangle. Five, I remove one. My answer will be what? Four triangle will be left. I come to what? Six. Six. Six minus one will give me six. Six minus one will give me five, I mean to say. Six minus one will give me what? Five. That means I have six triangle. Look at the one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six triangle. I remove one from that six triangle, I will have what? Five triangle left. Count it one, two, three, four, five. This one I cancel is the one I have, I have removed. This one I cancel is the one I remove. And I will be left with one, two, three, four, five. And I have one, one, two, three, four, five, five what? Triangle. That means coming over here, I will say that I have one, two, three, four, five, six triangle. And one was cancelled. 
I remove one from it. Somebody took one. What will remain is what? One, two, three, four, five. That means what? Five triangle. And what does it mean? Six minus what? One will give me what? Five triangle left. And look at that five triangle left. Before the triangle was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one was cancelled. One was removed. I will have what? One, two, three, four, five left. That means six minus one will give me what? Five triangle left. Then now, let's see the other one. I come over here, number what? Seven. That means I have seven triangle minus one triangle will give me six triangle. Can we see it now? Seven triangle minus one triangle will give me six triangle. That means seven minus one will give me six. I'm going to look at it. I have seven triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one was removed from that seven. One triangle was removed from that seven. Then I remove one triangle from that seven. I will have six left. Count the one that left. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one has been removed. The one I cancelled has been removed. I will have one, two, three, four, five, six left. And that means that what? Seven minus what? One will give me what? Six. Seven minus one will give me what? Six. And I come here. Eight minus one will give me seven. Eight minus one will give me seven. What does it mean? I have eight triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one triangle was removed from that eight. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this triangle was removed. This one was cancelled. How many will remain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can see now. So when I remove one triangle from what eight, I will be left with what seven. Can we count the one that I mean? The one that remain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seven is one that remain. It means that what eight minus one will give me seven. Eight minus one will give me seven. I come to nine minus one will give me eight. Nine minus one will give me eight. How did I get it? I have a nine triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine triangle. And one triangle was cancelled from that one. That means one triangle had been removed from the nine triangle I have. One triangle was given out. I will have eight left. Can we count the eight that is left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what will be left when I remove one triangle from the nine triangle. And what it will be left is what? Eight. Can we count it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that implies that nine minus one will give me what? Eight. Then I come to what? Ten minus one will give me nine. That means I have ten triangle and one was removed from the ten triangle. What will be left in my hand is what? Nine. Can we count it here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten triangle. And this one was removed from that triangle. And how many will remain? How many will be left in my hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means it means that if I remove one triangle from, from the ten triangle, I will be left with nine triangle. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what will be left after I have removed one from what? Ten. Then I now say 11 minus 1 will give me what 10. That means I'm removing one triangle from the 11 triangle. I have 11 triangle and I remove one from it. What will be left is what 10. Can I count it now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 11 triangle and the one out of this 11 will have been removed. Somebody have taken one out of, out of it. I will have one. How many will be left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten will be left. That means eleven minus one will give me what ten. That means eleven, eleven right angle triangle. If I remove what eleven triangle, I remove one from it. It will I will be left with ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you see it now? So that means eleven minus one will give me what ten. Then let's come to what we call number line. This is what we call what? Number line. We call it what? Number line. Can, we, can you mention it? Number what? Line. This is what we call number line as we read. Can we read it now? That means zero. Look at zero plus one. Zero plus one. Zero plus one will give me one. Then kitty, nothing plus one will give me one. Zero means what? Nothing plus one will give me one. Then here, one plus one will give me two. One plus one will give me two. One plus one will give me two. And here, I will say two plus one will give me three. 
2 plus 1 will give me 3. 2 plus 1 will give me 3. Here I will say 3 plus 1 will give me 4. 3 plus 1 will give me 4. 3 plus 1 will give me 4. Here I will say 4 plus 1 will give me 5. 4 plus 1 will give me 5. I will not come here. 5 plus 1 will give me 6. 5 plus 1 will give me 6. 5 plus 1 will give me 6. Here I will say 6 plus 1 will give me 7. 6 plus 1 will give me 7. Then I put it question mark. You will tell me the answer. You can complete it now for me. 6 plus 1. I don't know what is going to be here. Then whatever that is here plus 1, I don't know what is going to be here. What is here plus 1 will give me what is going to be here. What is going to be here plus 1 will give me what is going to be here. So from what I did now, you can complete the rest. Tell me what is going to be here. 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 You remember what I did? 0 plus 1 will give me 1. And 1 plus 1 will give me 2. And 2 plus 1 will give me 3. And 3 plus 1 will give me 4. 4 plus 1 will give me 5. And 5 plus 1 will give me 6. And 6 plus 1, I don't know. You have to tell me what is going to be there. Then whatever that is there plus 1, you have to tell me, children. Then from here, you will tell me what is being. Then, then you complete it. And that's your uh, homework I'm giving you. You have to do this as your homework. Then do it and complete it for me. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Go forward. Let's into you.